you ever had fear or anxiety when you're about to put your new jet boat in the water and run up or down the stream? That's okay, that's normal. In this class, we're gonna give you a few pointers, talk about a few topics, fill you in on some things that we've learned over the years to hopefully give you a little bit more confidence to go run your jet boat and not die. This is our class. We're gonna go over some best practices and then three main topics. We're gonna to go over how to read water, at least how to start learning, okay? The next thing we're gonna go over is know your tool, know your jet boat, its characteristics. Then we're gonna go over what is confidence, when is it time to go? When is it time to give that throttle and when is it time to stop and wait? Those are the three main things we're gonna break it down along with some ideas, best practices that we've come up with over the years. So I'm the fourth generation of Woldridge Boats. My father, Glenn, his father, Bob, his grandfather, Glenn Woldridge Sr., who was my great-grandfather. We've been doing this since 1915, building river boats, running river boats, and many others. So the history, the experience, that's where our tips come from. I learned this from those who have gone before me. And it's a little trial and error when I'm out there by myself. That's where our knowledge comes from. We're gonna pass it along. We love being out there. We love that you're gonna be out there, whether you're hunting, fishing, just adventuring, or having time with the family. This will hopefully give you a little more confidence when you're going out to run the river.